Hey, I'm Max, Director of Design Engineering here at Peak Design. And this is the motorcycle brake and clutch mount. Available in both a Chi2 charging and non-charging version, the moto brake and clutch mount attaches to the bolt threads on your brake or clutch assembly. This mount is a common choice for V-twin cruisers with thicker handlebars. <coughs> Harleys. If that doesn't describe your bike, one of our other mounts may be a better option for you. Made from anodized aluminum with built-in vibration isolation, the Moto Brake and Clutch Mount secures and protects your phone through the Slimlink mounting system. With one-handed mounting and removal, it's the quickest, most intuitive way to put your phone on your bike. Plus, the case that goes with it makes your phone compatible with our entire mobile ecosystem of mounts and accessories. But if I was a betting man, and whew, boy, I've been a betting man. I'd say you already know all that fun stuff, or you wouldn't be here. So let's get to installation. Begin by removing one screw from your brake or clutch perch using the tool required by your manufacturer. Do not remove both at the same time, or your lever will come loose and change positions, and your mother will be very angry with you. Compare this screw to the ones included in your brake and clutch mount and determine whether you need the metric M6 or standard quarter 20 screw. Using the correct set of screws, attach the fixed post on the pivoting arm to the mount head and put the screw through both. Attach the spacer to the bottom and ensure the length of the new screw lines up with the old one, lining its head up with the bottom of the spacer. If they are more than a couple threads different in length, we recommend consulting your mechanic as to whether you need different screws. Sounds like a personal problem. If all this is correct, you can insert the new screw into the perch and snug it up, but don't fully tighten it just yet. With the spacer installed, replace this screw with the new one. Tighten both screws to manufacturer specs, ensuring any gaps on your perch mounting points are even and that the mount head is in your preferred position. Finally, you can tighten the screw on the back of the mount head. Attach your phone in a Peak Design case and turn your bars completely in both directions to check clearances. Also, ensure that the phone doesn't interfere with your controls. You can fine tune your viewing angle at any time using the friction ball head. If you've got a non-charging version, you're done, go ride. If not, let's talk charging setup. First, you want to attach the snap cap that comes with the mount. To do so, peel off the adhesive backing on the snap cap. Align the snap cap with the recess in the mount center and press until you hear that sweet, sweet click sound. Press and hold for 30 seconds. This ensures that the adhesive will bond correctly. Now, let's get to plugging it in. Your charging moto brake and clutch mount ships with a USB-C cable. If you need a USB-A or SAE connector, we sell those separately. Just note that the SAE connector should be attached to an ignition switched SAE port. It should not be directly attached to the battery. If your bike doesn't have this already, your mechanic should be able to install one via an ignition switched relay or an aftermarket power distribution unit. Or you could do this on the weekend with a couple of cold ones. Cold ones not included. If it has something else like a DIN connector or cigarette lighter, you'll need an adapter. We've linked options for those, some made by us and some not, the ones made by us are better, of course, in the description of this video. Once you've selected the correct cable, you will attach that through the inline connector. Then use the included cable ties to route your cable for a cleaner aesthetic and to keep it from hanging awkwardly. Many bikes have visible cables running along the frame already, which you can follow. Before fully tightening your cable ties, be sure to turn the bars each way again and ensure that the cable is able to flex without catching on anything. Once you've done this, slap your phone on that sucker and enjoy that sweet bliss that is wireless Qi2 charging on the go. And that's it. As always, if you've got any questions, please contact our team at info at peakdesign.com. Stay safe out there.